Hey guys, Alex here. And as a follow up to my ice cream sandwich on the wildfire S video, I now have ice um Android Jelly Bean on here or four point one point two. I want to, in this video I want to talk about some of the good things and bad things I've noticed when using it over the last few days. Uh, it's this using Cyanogen Mod ten with the nightly ones. Um and it actually runs quite smooth, a uh, lot smoother than the uh, ice cream sandwich used to run. It used to run all sort of stuttery and not very well. This one's definitely a lot smoother, the graphics are a lot more responsive on it, which is great. Although, if, because it is a nightly and it's not really supposed to run here, there is quite a few bugs I've noticed while using it. For example, on the Play Store, if I can get it to go to the Play Store. It just doesn't want to work on me. First time it worked, I clicked update all apps, and now I get unfortunately the place to have stopped whenever I try and open it. Yeah, even though it does say at the top I have updates available, flipboard. So that's one issue I have noticed. Uh, also, it does have quite a few crash bugs in it. And also, there's some bugs that carried over from ice cream sandwich. For example, clocks. Uh, if I go into alarms, it just doesn't work. But I can use all the other things, which I couldn't on ice cream sandwich, like the stopwatch and the countdown. That used, it used to just crash as you open the clock on a ice cream sandwich. So it's an improvement. If I understand it's not. What's that? I understand that's not a Android feat, uh, bug, though. Probably sound and modern compatibility with the phone. Oh well. Yeah, it all does quite run quite smooth. Uh, if I go and open up, no, nope, not what I wanted to do. Uh, about phone, no. There we go. Uh, then go into. Not very easy to get into this because of the lag on it, but there we go. You can see it's jelly bean. You can see there's a little bit of lag there. But it does run well, smooth when touching the screen. But the graphics don't render very fast, which can sometimes be an issue. Definitely not designed for gaming at the minute. If we go and open up Angry Birds. If I can get it to open, there we go. Take a minute to open, it's a bit slow. What? Oh dear. Play Store's crashed again. It's like become a bit of a thing, that is. When I first installed it as well, um, it updated all my previous apps, so Google Drive just went nuts at that. I just kept coming with runtime exceptions, so I had to uninstall Google Drive. Not that I use it much on the phone anyway, so not much of an issue. I'm gonna keep doing that. We're we gonna be able to load. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh no, here we go. Uh, turn that down. Let's just run, let's just see how smooth this is. It took an incredibly long time to load up there. I always kept my save files from before. Uh, I can't properly see the screen too well with the camera in the way, so we will play this too well, but. Oopsie, no. I'm not brilliant at Angry Birds. Not that I play it much. So yeah, it runs rather smooth. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but. It runs quite smooth. Let's exit out of there. And I've lost the background. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you can see there's quite a few bugs left in it. What did I just open up? Browser. Um, and Goo, Goo Manager, which is something getting installed on here, is... Um, keeps coming up telling me there's updates for gaps whenever I try and up install the update it comes up with an error so 
I might have to look into that. So if you want to get run this on your own HC World 5S, um, I'll put a link to the ROM in the description below. You pretty much have to just do what. Um, also link to my uh, how to install ice cream sandwich on Wild 5S. You basically just follow that as I've said. Uh, then right, but when you have to go when it when I tell you to install ice cream sandwich ROM, instead go and install the jelly bean ROM. And it's pretty much that. With with mine, because I updated my ice cream sandwich to jelly bean, it kept all my apps and settings and everything, which is very nice. I believe I had updated all backed up and everything beforehand. Uh, I might do a video on how to actually back up these phones because I found a cool way of doing it. Pretty much backs up everything on it, it's onto the computer. Which is great. Oh, we're getting la oh oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear me. Okay. Before everything goes hot terribly wrong. Google, hi. Before it all starts crashing everything. Which undoubtedly it probably will. I'm going to call it that. So so, thank you guys for watching, till next time, goodbye.